I'm here to talk about lizards and praying mantises, the ones that you could keep for pets. So, I'll talk about the lizards first. I've caught three lizards in my whole life, but from different species. I've caught more than three, but I've caught three, three species. I caught blue tail skink, western fence lizards, and more the more common one, um, green annals. But let me talk about blue tail skinks. They're harder to catch because they're super fast. They're actually one of the fastest lizards in Georgia. But if you're in another state and you see them, they're fast. And if you haven't seen them, they're maybe, they should be life size, about what I'm showing you. They can be bigger, but the ones I've caught were from the edge of this camera part, then the edge of this one. The smallest one I've caught was like half that size about there. But they will usually either eat smaller blue tail skinks, anything that's smaller than them and could fit in their mouth. And pretty much I've seen them eat their own tails. So if you don't feed them, they'll end up eating their own bodies and end up dying because they'll either lose a foot and they can't move or they'll lose too much blood. Like if you cut off a hand and it was bleeding horrible and you couldn't find anything to do, you'd bleed of death. You'll bleed and you'll die. Okay, western fence lizards are the second hardest ones I've caught. And they're usually found on wood or anything that has a little sade. So they'll usually be on trees. Anything that's wooden, pretty much. They like to be on leaves sometimes. Sometimes I actually found one under a brick. And they're hard to catch because they like to go up in the tree. They're harder to catch than a blue tail skink because you can watch them and they'll just go side to side looking for somewhere to run under or, or something like that. And just ignore that. That's my sister. Um, and if you catch one, you'll notice they look like a, horn, a thorned lizard in the Sonora Desert and stuff like that. If you go up, you can't because it's like scales going straight up almost. They're not prickly if you go down, but if you go up, it actually somewhat hurts. So I would recommend... Um, blue tail skink or a green annal. Okay, now a green annal, if you want one of those, you have to find one. They like to be in those little sp sp things of grass, whatever they are. The ones that if you go outward, they'll scratch you. So you need to be careful because you could get cut. But catching a green annal lizard is fairly easy. I've caught like six of those here in Georgia. They're more, they're more, they're one of the more common ones. So like, if you had a green animal, you would want to, well, feed it things that are really small like teeny cockroaches and stuff like that. So, I have not seen them eat their tail. I have not seen them die from any of them eating too much or eating too less. And all the ones I've caught, I've let go. One died because my sister got a hold of it. But, I forgot to tell you something about the Western Fence Lister, okay? I have not seen them eat any body parts, but they're big enough, like the um, blue tail skink that they could if they were too hungry, but 
it would be difficult because they're shorter. They'd have to turn around really hard and they might get hurt doing that, break their back. Or they're more likely to not even be able to bite it off because they'd pull and it would just slide right off. Because I said if you go down, it will like come straight It'll feel smooth, but if you go up, it's hard. Most of the times, when you catch anything, like, I have a praying mantis. I'm not going to sell you, maybe, if I do another video. This is my first time, so sorry if I'm a little stopping. Sorry if I'm stopping too much, but... It's just that it's my first time, and who knows how many people will watch this. But, okay, back to the praying mantis. If you catch a praying mantis, you're going to want to um feed it maybe more than three times a day. The one I got is maybe that big. Um, That fat, it's a fat one, but it's not that big. So I think it's a male. But it might be a really young one, so it might be a female, because they get big, and it's gotten a little bit bigger since I got it. So it might be young, it might be an old male. If it's an old male, it'll probably be dead, but it might be a really young male or a young female. And when you catch those, you're going to want to feed it, like I said, more than three times a day. I fed it three fat cockroaches, and I think it's still hungry. So I fed a caterpillar, it ate that. It's still hungry. So I couldn't find any more. It'll survive off that for maybe three, four days. Maybe even a week. But you're gonna want to keep it in a container and don't play with it, because it will get your finger. It will try to eat it. Because I've seen them catch hummingbirds, lizards. They've eaten them alive. They eat most of their foods they catch alive. But, usually, if it's too hard for them to chew, they won't eat it. But your finger is like a hummingbird's wing. It's nothing to the praying mantis like a lizard it's harder to chew through a lizard than it is through to your finger sorry if i'm wiggling too much i'm a little uncomfortable but once you catch those they're a lot more um so to say easier to handle than um lizards because they don't need that much to eat, but you still want to feed them a lot. <coughs> Sorry. And if you don't, they'll die within maybe a week or two. They also need water. They, I think they drink them off leaves. So I've been spraying a little water bottle on the leaf. It has a nice big terrarium. You can also keep them in a nice fish bowl with a lid on it. And poke holes through that. But. A nice terrarium. Spray. Le spray. Water on leaves and stuff. If you have any in there. And try to put sticks in there. Going upward. Because they like to hang from the top of the. Fist tank. Or wherever they are in. But most of the time. You'll want to keep them in a nice good spot. So anyway. This might be the last video of the first video I make. I might not make one in a long time, but if any of you like it, please, please press the like button or watch it. That will be my description below. I'll just say, if you liked this, press the like button. So, if you're watching this, bye. I'll see you maybe next time. I don't know. But I am a Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye fan. 
And I don't want to steal any of their, um, things, like fibros or... See you next time, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go say the boss or whatever he did to accept Kai. I don't want to steal that. So I'll just say bye. Hopefully I'll see you next time. I don't know. So bye.